So, at the problem, I think a lot of people get this, uh, the head unit, this is a Volkswagen California, but it's, uh, it's the same with loads of these, uh, loads of the Volkswagens, uh, I think the Golf, the Passat, the Transporters all have this same head unit. Uh, the touchscreen had gone, so like when it was switched on, uh, it had constantly be jumping between stations and just totally unusable, it's just pressing random buttons. Um, whereas you can see it, it is fixed. So, um, do that, take it out, dismantle it. Um, the tricky bit was that the touchscreen and the actual display are bonded together um, and like you need a temperature controlled oven to reliably uh, dis uh, like uh, loosen the glue. Um, between the two, I uh, like I dismantled it to the point that you've got the screen and the touch screen together in a unit. And I did think of dropping that into a mobile phone shop because they've got the tools and the expertise to uh, take the two apart. Then I realised the touch screen, it's only like a millimetre thick. Uh, so I just got another touch screen. Uh, the old touch screen is still in there. I just put the new touch screen over the top of the old one. Um, didn't plug the old one in, plug the new one in. Um, the actual touch sensor they're see-through they're only about a millimeter thick um and it all just bolted back together and there it is uh, so fix this. Uh, I need a set of little torque wrenches, a desire to, uh, a willingness to voyage a warranty, and the new touchscreen I got from AliExpress. Uh, I will link that in the description. Cool. So just start, undo these four, take the cover off. You'll then be able to just lift the CD player out. Uh, we'll part this like the, the unit that contains all the screen and stuff like that from away from the main from the main circuit board um, there's three little tags as well as the screws which will cause us some problems we'll just... so getting this face off at the back bit was actually the trickiest bit of the whole disassembly so there's the obvious screws uh, here, here, and on the bottom, here and here, but also there's these little clips, there's one there, there's one there, and there's one on the other side. So even once you've got the screws out, this whole thing is quite firmly locked together. So, what I found, let's do this side one, just a bit of a screwdriver underneath that, just lift it open, and that'll get this corner going, do the same on this near side one, and that'll let, the, that'll let this whole front bit tilt that way on the bottom one, and as soon as it tilts a bit, the bottom one goes as well, and you're done. So to uh, disassemble this bit, uh, you just kind of need to yoink the bot buttons off. They're kind of firm. Just pry them off. And then, yeah, just basically take all the screws out. The uh, SD card uh, readers. Um, do actually lift out as well, but here, you don't need to take them out now, um, you don't need to take them off at all. So there are lugs on the flexible PCB that sit behind little plastic tags on the clip. Well, not 
either side. So when you go put this back in, you just need to make sure that this guy is shoved far enough up. Close it over. This one's exactly the same, except smaller. a couple of millimeters, like a millimeter or so th too thick to close, but I don't think that really matters. <laughs> 